Hello yogis, welcome back. In this class we're going to work on yoga for strength, making sure we are focusing on our shoulders, our core, and our overall endurance. So, let's begin. We're going to start directly in our tabletop position. Make sure hands and shoulders are aligned, same as knees and hips. And we'll start already with some activation. So slowly, from your tabletop, press the heel slightly back until the knees lift off the ground about an inch or so. Make sure you're fully protracted. Engage gently through the core, tag the tailbone a little bit, lean forward and breathe. On every inhalation, try focus on that lifting of the upper back, so slight protraction. And on the exhale, try ground through the feet more, press the heels a tiny bit back. Slow breaths. Very nice. Slowly allow the knees to drop, release for a moment and start gently moving forward and back. Try release some tension on the wrists, bring the hands facing outwards and create circles to one direction, to the other. Very good, let's do the last one. Bring the fingers facing back to the knees and slowly lean back. Of course, if you have the flexibility, you can sit on the heels. Otherwise, you can, of course, just go as farther back as possible as you press the hands down onto the floor. When you're ready, come back to the center, shake the hands if you need to, and we meet again in our tabletop position. Let's try to do this again. So, come to your tabletop. Gently externally rotate the arms, protract the shoulders, press the heels back so the knees lift slightly. Let's try to take one hand off the ground, so try not to move anything but just the hand that you're trying to move away, in this case the left, coming onto the finger pads, maybe three, two, one, maybe take the hand off. Maintain both knees off the ground, keep pressing through the right shoulder, slow and long breaths, activate the core, Tacking the tailbone, three, two, one. Left hand comes down, we switch very slowly. Maintain the knees almost touching the floor. Keep integrity throughout the whole body. Three, two, one. Both hands down, deep inhale. Exhale, send the hips back. Lift the hips, coming to your downward facing dog. Start bringing the heels up and down, release some tension on the back of the legs and relax your neck. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Very nice. Last deep inhale, and exhale. Great, slowly take deep inhale, lift the heels off the ground, tag the tailbone and slowly roll until you reach your plank position. Lean forward a little bit more than usual, try to really lift through the upper back, engage the core and hold. Four, three. Two, great, and one, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, to down dog. Beautiful. Slow and long breaths. Let's do this again. Take a deep inhale, lift the heels off the ground, tag the tailbone, roll the spine, come into a plank, look to the floor, full protraction on the shoulders, hold for three, two, 
One exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice. Let's go into it one more time. Slowly inhale, lift the heels. Tag the tailbone, roll the spine, come into a plank. Core glutes engage, lead, f lead forward with the shoulders a bit more than usual. Hold at the top. Three. Externally rotating the arms, remember two. One, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Slowly when you're ready, look forward, bend the knees, exhale fully. And as you inhale, start walking forward until you reach between the hands. Open the chest, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fall deeply, grab the back of the legs, try to connect the belly and the thighs. Try to connect the knees to the chest. Focus on sending the hips high and forward. Use the toes to help you balance. If you need to, of course, feel free to bend one knee, extend the other, until you find that opening. Good, three more breaths. Two. And one, slowly bend the knees, release the arms and slowly vertebra by vertebra come all the way up to your standing position. Let's start doing some sand salutations. Take a deep inhale, reaching the arms up, look to the fingertips. As you exhale, fall deeply, Uttanasana, forward bend. Inhale, look forward, open up the chest. Exhale, step back into your plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Hold for three, two, one, push up to plank, inhale. Exhale, back to your down dog. So as you see, we're skipping the up dog for now, focusing purely in our strength. Last deep breath in, and exhale. Look forward, bend the knees, walk until you reach between the hands. Open the chest, deep inhale. Exhale, fall deeply. Inhale, reach the arms up. Look to the fingertips. Directly on the exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, look forward, open the chest. Exhale, step back into your plank. Lower down, Chaturanga, hold. Three, core glutes engaged. Two, one, push up to plank, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Very nice. As the breath in, and out. Look forward, bend the knees, walk until you reach between the hands. Open the chest, lengthen through the spine. Inhale. Exhale, deep fold. Last one here, reach the arms up. Look to the fingertips. Exhale directly, come all the way down. Inhale to look forward, lengthen. Exhale, step back to your plank. Lower down, Chaturanga, hold for three, two, one, push up to plank. Inhale, exhale back to your downward facing dog. Beautiful. From here, we roll the spine coming into our plank position. Bring the hands to the top edges of the mat. Grab the mat. Bring the feet back to the back edges of the mat. 
tuck the tailbone in, look to the belly, squeeze everything in, and breathe. You kind of like want to feel your body shaking. Slow breaths here. Three. Two. And one, slowly bring the forearms onto the floor. Bring the feet close to each other into your forearm plank. Focus on pushing down so you're protracting, lifting the upper back. Deep inhale, bring the right foot off the ground. Exhale, try bring the knee to the armpit. Hold. For three. Try to bring it closer and closer. Two, one, extend the leg, deep breath in, exhale, let's switch, left foot off the ground, inhale, exhale, knee to armpit, breathe, three, two, one, step back, Deep breath in. Let's move on to the side. Start with the right hand going slightly in. You can bring the left hand to the floor. Outer edge of the right foot goes down. We start lifting the hips high. Option to stay here, maybe. Send the left arm up, maybe the left leg up. We breathe. On every inhale, try to reach higher and higher. On the exhale, ground more. Three. Good. Two. One, left forearm down. Come through center, deep breath in. Exhale. Let's switch. Left hand goes in. Outer edge of the left foot comes down. We try to lift the hips high. If this feels too much, you can always have your right foot grounded so you can lift a little easier. Otherwise, you can also bring the right leg up. Good. Four, three, hips higher on every inhale. Two. Good. And one, slowly come to center. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the knees onto the floor. Relax for a moment in your child's pose. Move gently the hips side to side to release some tension. Very nice. Last deep breath in. And exhale. Slowly when you're ready, bring your upper body forward into your tabletop. Send the knees forward a tiny bit more and sit on your heels. Let's start working on purely strength exercises now, focusing on lifting or that compression that makes us lift the knees up towards the chest. We'll try to work in some lolasana holds. We'll go step by step. We'll do three rounds with three different options. If you feel it's too much directly with the hands on the floor, you can always use blocks to help you lift a little higher. So, we start with the hands or blocks parallel to the knees. We take a deep inhale and as we exhale, we squeeze, making a little ball. Try to make sure the knees and the chest are connected. We try to keep this connection as we push onto the arms and we lift. We may have the feet onto the floor. Try lean forward and breathe for five. Four, try to connect more and push onto the ground. Three, two, one, slowly come down and release, relax. Slow and long breaths. And remember here, the goal is not necessarily to go into the form but to use the muscles that we need to in order to build the strength required to get into the form itself. 
Great. When you're ready, let's come back to sitting on our heels. We'll take our second round. Very similar. If you have the strength and you're leaning forward enough, you may be able to lift one of the feet off the ground. So, same thing. We take a deep inhale, we exhale to compress, to connect. We push, maybe lifting one foot for five or maybe the other, or maybe switch three, two, one, release. Come down. Relax. Slow and long breaths. Especially when we're working in strength exercises, compression exercises, most likely at the beginning, you're going to be holding your breath. Try focus, even though it's hard, on maintaining that flow, inhalation and exhalation always being constant, always being rhythmic. That way, you will not get tired as quickly and as much. Okay, we're going to go into the last round. See maybe if you can lifting both feet off the ground. Otherwise, any of the previous options works. Deep inhale. Exhale, compress. Lift up. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down and relax. Well done. Beautiful. When you're ready, push into the floor, come back, sitting on the heels, then allow the sitting bones to drop on the side, extend the legs forward. Let's work a bit deeper on our compression. We'll start from our feet together. Take a deep inhale, lengthen through the spine, and as you exhale, allow your chest to reach forward. Maybe this is enough, maybe you can go a little deeper. Bring the hands behind the ears, elevate the shoulders a bit, and then bring the elbows back. Focus on the chest, reaching forward. If you want to maximize the engagement through the legs, maybe point the feet, and try to make sure everything is engaged here. Try to reach farther and breathe. The idea is not to, comp to collapse. Instead, we focus on reaching even farther than we normally go four, even if we find is our maximum, doesn't matter. Try go a little bit farther anyways. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Maybe shake the legs a little bit. Take out the tension. Let's go in one more time. This time, if you feel comfortable, maybe you can reach the arms forward or maybe even grab a block with the hands to maintain that engagement even more. Inhale deep, find length. On the exhale, reach forward. Try not to collapse. Keep finding length. Four, five. Full engagement on the legs. Four. Three. Two. And one, slowly inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release, great. Shake the legs a little bit. We move now onto the opposite action, lifting the legs off the ground. So, from our seated position, we we'll start with the hands parallel to the knees, maybe slightly farther. We take a deep inhale, make sure the spine tries to stay long, chest tries to be open, we gently externally rotate, Bend the elbows, lean forward. On the next inhale, push. Lift the legs off the ground as much as possible. Four, five. Good, four. Deep breaths, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Take a gentle forward fold. Don't worry too much when you're relaxing on how's the form necessarily. Just allow your body to release its tension. Very nice. Let's move into our second round. We try to step a little bit farther forward. 
Again, point the feet, lengthen through the spine, open the chest. On the exhale, go forward and down, compress. Next inhale, push onto the floor, lift the legs, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, come down, take a fold. Slow and long breaths. And I know this is probably very intense, but I guarantee you, this will give you the ability to then move into all these really nice arm balances and inversions that you see many practitioners and teachers do. So let's go into one more round. Maybe this time we try to go a bit farther forward with the hands. Take a deep inhale, lengthen through the spine, exhale, deep fold. One last time we try to lift the legs and we hold for five. Good. Four. Three, two, one. Slowly come down. Well done. Take a deep fold and relax. Beautiful. Slowly, when you're ready, inhale to come halfway. Exhale, bring the hands back onto the hips. Now that we have both the engagement when we go forward with the upper body, the engagement to lift the legs, let's try to combine these together with our arms, moving towards our L-sit variation. We'll try to take a transition from our L-sit into our reverse tabletop. Try to really stay during these three reps that we will do, even though it's quite intense, okay? So we'll start from our reverse tabletop, slowly place the soles of the feet onto the floor, hands right below your, or behind your hips. Inhale to lift, try to roll the shoulders back, open the chest, looking maybe to the belly. Engage the glutes. Four, five. Deep breaths, four, three, two, one. Slowly send the hips back and up. Maybe you this time are just lifting the hips. Maybe the feet go together. Maybe you lift one foot. Maybe you lift both. Three more breaths, two, one. Slowly feet forward, hips up, same thing. Four, three, on every inhale, try to come a little higher. Two, one, slowly come back, lift, five, four, three, two, one, last one, lift up for the last five here. Four, three, two, one, and slowly come back, L sit, last round, five, four, three, two, one, release, take a fold. Very good. Slow and long breath. Last deep breath in, and exhale. Slowly when you're ready, come back to your seated position, and very slowly, vertebra by vertebra, we're gonna come back down, do some counter poses, in this case, back bends, to make sure we're not too closed, okay? So, slowly allow yourself to drop down onto the ground, Bend the knees about 
hips distance apart. See if you can touch with your fingers the heels. That's always a good distance to begin with. And start hacking the tailbone, engaging the glutes until the hips lift off the ground. Let's begin with a very simple variation, interlocking the fingers behind. Try to roll the shoulders back and bring the shoulder blades a little close to each other so you can ground more through that foundation on the upper body. Press through the feet, lift the hips high, and try to send most of the intention of opening towards the thoracic spine, towards the chest area. Breathe. On every inhale, try to open up more. On every exhale, ground deeper through feet and shoulders. Very nice. Three more breaths. Two. Last deep breath in. And exhale. Good, slowly come back down. And release for a second. Try notice any sensation that may arise right now. Ideally, we want to start noticing already how the chest is trying to expand. Ideally, making sure the lower back does not feel any sort of tension or discomfort. And we're really using the strength of our legs. So you actually want to feel them a little bit tired right now, or at least they have been used. Yeah. We're gonna move into our second round. We may go a bit deeper this time. Maybe with one hand we grab one ankle, with the other we have the other one. Make sure you're grounding through the shoulders and press through the legs. Lift a bit more through the hips, open more the chest. We breathe. Slow and long breaths. Focus on that lifting of the hips, gentle tacking of the tailbone, that engagement on the glutes. Three more breaths here. Beautiful. Two. And one, slowly come back down. Breathe. You may already start noticing the blood pumping throughout your whole body. You may be noticing the heat traveling around. You may notice already some sort of hydration <laughs> or sweat coming through you. We're going to move into one more back bend. Okay, so when you're ready, option to do any of the previous ones. Maybe this time we take it a little higher into our Urdhva Dhanurasana wheel. For that, we may bring the hands behind us, try face with the fingers onto the shoulders, push slightly first maybe. So the head goes onto the floor, send the chest forward, and then slowly start pushing up to lift a little higher. Deep breaths. Again, focus on lifting the hips, on grounding through your extremities, reaching up. Four. Three. Two, and one, slowly come back down. Make sure the lower back goes last. Squeeze the knees to the chest and move gently side to side. Doing a little massage on the lower back. Well done. Slowly from here. Bring the right knee on top of the left. Cross once or maybe twice if you are comfortable. Left hand onto the right knee. Bring the knees over to the left as your right arm moves over to the right. Try ground through your shoulders. And release tension in your abdomen and your back muscles so the twist can happen a little deeper.
Very nice. Slowly with control. Come back to center. Release the legs and switch to the other side. Exactly the same action. And breathe. Beautiful. When you're ready, come back to the center. Squeeze the knees to the chest. Cross the legs and very slowly start rolling forward and back until you sit down on the mat. Make sure your spine is long. Shoulders are gently back and down. And your breath is happening naturally. Take a moment here to observe what is going on within at the moment. Try to release any thought that may arise and just focus on that natural movement that happens in your body as you take a breath in, as you take a breath out. Try to tune in to that natural rhythm of the breath and observe how maybe that rhythm gives you the space, the pause in the thoughts that make you feel fully present in that what we call now. Take a deep breath in. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Release all the tension. Let's do this two more times. Deep inhale. Slow exhale through the mouth. Last deep breath in through the nose. And exhale completely. In your own time. Open your eyes. Thank you so much for sharing this practice. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Namaste.